name of Almighty One God who is most merciful and most beneficent. Dear friend, my name is Dr. Abdullah. We are discussing about role and contribution of Muslims in medieval times in arts and science. Today we will be discussing vision and cameras. Reversing the false Greek notion that light is emitted from the eye, the 11th century physical physicist Al Hassan ibn Al Hashim, known as the West <coughs> as Al Hazm, correctly asserted in Cairo that the light rays travel in opposite direction, reflecting the surface of the object to enter the eye. However, it was 9th century Al Kindi who first laid down the foundation of modern day optics by questioning the Greek theories of vision. Al-Kundi's questioning was built upon Ibn al-Hashim in 11th century. The Camera Obscure Devising the first camera, Ibn Hashim demonstrated that light emanated, emanates from an object in straight lines, especially establishing the pinhole of linear perspective essential to the art of Leonard B. Vinsky and other Renaissance masters. Light generally travels in straight line when rays reflected from a bright subject pass through the small hole in the thin material they don't scatter but cross and reform as an upside down image on a flat white surface held parallel to the surface through which the hole has been pierced. Ibn al-Hashim established that the smaller the hole, the clearer the picture. By putting his concept to various tests using the camera obscure and the other tools, al-Hashim also introduced the experimental method of proof, insisting that Theories had to be verified in practice, a key element to modern science that was missing from no less than empirical tradition. So this was about vision and camp. Please keep on watching my channel, Dr. Abdullah.